Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you a short overview of a neat little student response service called Go Soapbox. You'll find it at gosoapbox.com. Let's go ahead and I'm going to sign in to my account and create a little event. So here I am, and I'm going to go and create a new event right now. Let's call it Demo Class 2. And hit the Create button. And now our students have an access code to join this event. So let's open it up and take a look at the student view. So the student goes to app.gosoapbox.com. They're going to be asked for an access code. Now, in this case, I'm going to use this access code. When I bring this back up, we'll see that the student is asked to put in a name. And as soon as the event loads, the first thing they'll see is a confusion barometer. And they can say, I'm getting it or I'm confused. It's a real simple thing. And they can change back and forth at any time during your lesson. Now, as the teacher, when I go into my event, I'll see that I have one student online and nobody confused. But if I switch it over, now we see that one confused person. Let's see who's online. Oh, it's my student, Bob. And so, Bob, I might need to go and see after class or at the end of the lesson and ask him if he's still confused. Now let's go back to the event. And we can create a little poll, a quiz, or a discussion. Let's create a poll. Right. Do you like ice cream? Now we can put a picture in there if we want. I'm not going to. And we'll see our results in a bar chart. And we'll let everybody see those results. And let's create that poll. Now we'll see that that poll is currently locked. Now I'm going to unlock it. And now the student sees the poll. Do you like ice cream? Yes. Submit the, submit the response. And now we see that 100% of the class likes ice cream. Now we can go back to the event. Maybe Bob changes his mind. He's now getting it. And I no longer have a confused student here. Let's go ahead and now create a little discussion. So I'm going to add a discussion question. What is the best kind of ice cream? And we'll let students see replies. We'll create that. And again, we'll see it's locked. I'm going to unlock it. And the student screen now has the, what is the best kind of ice cream? Adds that reply, and now goes back to the event. And now let's do a quick quiz. So I'm in my teacher account, create this new quiz. And we want to go in and change the quiz details <clears throat> or add a question. Let's add a question. We'll make it multiple choice. And we're going to add that question in there. Now, if I go back to my event, 
We'll see, there's the quiz, it's locked. Let's unlock it. And now the student sees that there's a quiz to take. You can start the quiz and submit it. Now as the teacher, I can go in and see that quiz. You can see that I have one person who's completed it, and I have no one else still working on it. And as a teacher, here I can download my quiz response information. So that's a short overview of Go Soapbox. It's a nice little tool for creating discussions and getting a sense of what your students know and don't know in your lessons. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.